In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Get Widget. This Flutter package enables us to use more than 1000 pre built widgets that we can directly use within our Flutter app. If you go to the pub.dev website of the Get Widget Flutter package, you can have a look at all the different widgets they offer. Since they offer so many widgets. I decided to show you how to use two different widgets from their list so that later on you can use any widget you want to use since you know the process. So in this case, I use the circular avatar and the social buttons. Let's get started. So first we have to copy this to our clipboard, then in our pubspec.yaml file, underneath our dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. Concerning the app layout, I simply build a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. This scaffold has an app bar and a body, and this body has a column. And inside this column, we have one of those widgets from the Flutter package get widgets. Then we have a size box, then we have a row of two more get widgets widgets. And in between here, we have a size box again. So let's first look at how we can build this avatar here. For this, if you scroll down almost to the bottom of the pub.dev website, you can see the list of all the different widgets you can use. So in this case, you have to click on the Flutter avatar widget. This is going to open up this website from the getwidget.dev website. And if you further scroll down, you can directly see if you want to have a circular avatar, all you have to do is first import the package here and then use this widget here. And as you can see here, you can either define a network image and then pass in the URL, or you could also use assets image. So in this case, in our column here, I define the GF avatar and then pass through the URL to the image. In this case, I also set the size to 80 so that we have a bigger image. And then for a social button, again, going back to the pub.dev website, click on here to go to the social button explanation. Then this website will open up. So here you can see the examples for this code snippet. Otherwise, if you want to, for example, have these buttons disabled, as you can see here, you will have to set the onPress function to null. But otherwise, if you want them to look normal, then here you can define your custom code or just leave it empty. Then here you can define your custom code. So you actually just have to copy this into your app as I did here. So I defined the onPressed function. In this case, it does nothing, but of course you have to do something within here. Then define the text give an icon. Also, I defined the color of the icon, which is white. And then I also defined the shape of this button. So it has rounded corners. And then I did the same thing for the WhatsApp button. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments. And thank you for watching.